What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Buffalo Bore 10 millimeter, and we'll be checking it out in the Six Hour P320 X10 and my custom built New Frontier Armory pistol caliber carbine, also in 10 millimeter, of course. Let's check it out. All right, so I got into 10 millimeter about a year and a half ago or something like that. And I've noticed that a lot of 10 millimeter is watered down and this is supposed to be one of the best, if not the best 10 millimeter out there on the market from Buffalo Boar. They don't water down their 10 millimeter at all. They're supposed to be one of the most consistent high velocity ammunitions, what 10 millimeter is supposed to be used for. So today we'll check out the velocity and do some recoil analysis with the X10. So with that, I'm gonna load up some magazines off camera and put them in the guns because YouTube doesn't allow that to be shown. So I'll do that, I'll get right back to you. We'll get the test started. All right, we got the chronograph set up. Here you guys can see the temperature and humidity because a lot of that matters. And a lot of you guys ask about that when I'm doing the velocity test. So there you have it. Here's the velocity, we'll take a look at it. Okay, before we get started, let me just show you guys this Buffalo Bore ammunition. So the head stamp says Buff Bore 10 millimeter. Maybe that will focus there for you. And these have a really cool looking hollow point. It's all copper there. And these should do some good expansion. This type of Buffalo bore is the tactical low recoil, low flash 10 millimeter. The item number is 21D slash 20, lead free. It's a 155 grain Barnes TAC XP bullet. Advertised muzzle velocity is 1,350 feet per second. We'll see if we get close to that with the five inch barrel out of the X10 and what we get out of a 16 inch barrel from a PCC. Now I just took the light off of this because it's the only place I can mount the Mantis X10 for the recoil analysis. Sometimes you can mount it here to the bottom of the base plate, but I don't have a Picatinny rail here. I don't have that with me on this, these magazines. So I took it off. A lot of people probably don't have a light here anyway on their X10, which if you did, it would also help with the recoil, but we'll check it out without. And what I have inside of here, if you saw some of my earlier videos is the DPM recoil reduction spring. So we'll reduce a little bit of recoil with that, but in general, I think these will be good numbers to get with the Mantis on here like that. Okay, anything else? I think not, we are ready to shoot. We're all loaded up. Five rounds here, we'll do the recoil and the velocity analysis. Okay, let's take a look at it. 1,413, so it's more so far. 10 consistent on those velocities. So we're up, there's 1351. So we do meet or exceed the velocities on that Buffalo bore. Felt like it does recoil a lot. So I have the data from the Mantis X10 recoil analysis. We'll take a look at the numbers here at the end of the video or somewhere in between and let you guys know what I find out. So that's the X10. Let's go ahead and do the pistol caliber carbine. Five rounds as well. Don't look, can't show this on camera. It is loaded. We got a round in the chamber. Go ahead and put the bipods up. It's just for show. All right, here we go. So let's make sure everything is lined up. Good to go here. Okay, 1,709. So that's an increase of what? About 250 feet per second more out of a 16 inch barrel. And it felt really good. Not too terrible recoil. Not really that big of a deal. But you do feel a little bit of a thump, which I think is cool. So here we go, second shot. 17, 17. Sixteen, seventy. Seventeen, oh six. And seventeen, oh six again. We are out. And wow, that felt really nice. The recoil felt really manageable out of this. Now with that Buffalo Bore ammunition, it felt really good out of here. Really good thump, I think. Really manageable, obviously. Felt really good. And we got really good velocities, around 1700 it looks like. We'll take a look at that data and crunch the numbers and everything. Show you guys that here in a little bit. So we'll start off with the recoil analysis first. I did not do recoil analysis for the 10 millimeter PCC, just the six hour X10. I put some specs of the pistol at the top for you to look at. 
Main things for me are the 5 inch barrel and the weight at 33 ounces. The buffalo board data is in the bottom left table and there you can see the averages of the recoil data. The muzzle rise was a whopping 30.07 degrees and in the graph to the right I compiled all of the 10 millimeter ammo that I've analyzed prior. You can definitely see that the buffalo board has the highest which can be a good thing or a bad thing. For me it's a good thing because it shows or proves that the buffalo board 10 millimeter ammunition is not watered down like many of the other major 10 10 millimeter brands out there. They are loading it with full power and so it's not like a 40 SNW round. In the video I was still able to manage it. Obviously you wouldn't be using this for quick target acquisition or quick target shooting I guess in competitions or something. It has its specific use. Now for the velocity measurements I'm comparing this buffalo bore in my 16 inch 10 millimeter PCC from New Frontier Armory and the 5 inch Sig Sauer P320 X10 pistol. I'm amazed that every single shot out of the pistol exceeded the advertised velocity and out of the 16 inch barrel in the PCC you would be pushing an increase of 400 feet per second almost. That's amazing. I mean I think this stuff is great. If you're really looking for a high velocity 10 millimeter round, you're definitely not going to be disappointed and the min and maxes are colored in red and green respectively. All right, so that does it for this video. What do you guys think of that Buffalo ammunition after looking at all those numbers? I think it's a really good ammunition, really good velocity. You're gonna get what the box says, I think, especially if you're shooting out of a X10 or a PCC, you're gonna get definitely a lot more velocity obviously, because you almost have basically more than triple the barrel length. Overall, really expensive ammunition, but I think it can be worth it if you get a few boxes just in case you need it for any kind of defensive use, or I'm not sure if these would be good for hunting, maybe for deer, I'm not sure. What do you guys think in the comment section? I'm new to Buffalo Boar. Let me know if this is some really good ammunition that you could theoretically use on deer and take down deer ethically. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, go ahead and click like, subscribe, and if you don't like the video, go ahead and click that thumbs down button twice. We'll see you guys in the next video. Oh,